So you're contemplating outsourcing your heart's desires to a meticulously assembled companion of circuits, code, and, if you're lucky, something resembling a comforting smile? Is the notion of a robot partner merely a quaint fantasy, a charming relic of overly optimistic science fiction? Or is it, quite to the contrary, the gleaming, perhaps slightly unsettling dawn of our relational future? One can't help but wonder, can one? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Tempting, isn't it, to dismiss the whole idea with a chuckle and a dismissive wave? It's just a machine. We might scoff, picturing a glorified toaster that happens to recite poetry. The specter of the uncanny valley looms large that disquieting space where something is almost, but not quite, human, leaving us more creeped out than comforted. Imagine, if you will, sharing your deepest fears with a partner whose facial expressions are just a fraction off, like a beautifully rendered oil painting that occasionally glitches. Quaint, perhaps, or perhaps profoundly unsettling. Yet, while some are busy polishing their it's just a machine badges. A rather different reality is being meticulously programmed into existence. The technological strides in this domain are less small step for a robot and more giant, slightly unnerving leap for machine kind. Consider the artificial intelligence that would underpin such a companion. We're not talking about a chatbot that can merely string together pre-programmed pleasantries. No, the ambition here, and increasingly the reality, involves deep learning and neural networks, intricate systems that allow a machine to learn from vast datasets of human interaction, to understand nuance, context, and perhaps even sarcasm, though one hopes it would use that power wisely. Think of it as teaching an apprentice emotion, not by rote, but by exposing it to the entire library of human experience, from Shakespearean sonnets to angry internet comments, though for safety's sake, Perhaps we curate that library a bit? Recent news whispers of humanoid robots like engineered Arts Emeka, startlingly expressive and capable of more natural human interaction. These aren't the rigid automatons of yesteryear. Companies like Sanctuary AI with their Phoenix model or Figure AI with Figure 02 are pushing boundaries in creating robots designed for complex tasks and, crucially, interaction within human environments. They learn, they adapt. The AI models powering them, descendants of giants like GPT-4, are increasingly sophisticated at understanding and generating human-like text and conversation. The global emotion AI market, as researchers from ESCP Business School and market analysts like GM Insights note, is booming, projected to be worth billions, focusing on AI that can recognize, interpret, and even simulate human emotional cues from facial expressions, tone of voice, and text. Can these systems truly feel? That's a philosophical can of worms the size of a supercomputer. But can they convince you they feel, or at least respond in ways that satisfy our own emotional needs? The evidence is leaning towards a rather complicated, maybe. And why one might ponder this relentless pursuit of the perfectly programmed pal. Is it the ever-present hum of loneliness in our increasingly disconnected world? As studies from institutions like the Ada Lovelace Institute suggest AI companions are already attempting to address? Or is it the allure of a relationship without the messy, unpredictable, and frankly, often infuriating aspects of dealing with another flawed human being? A partner who never forgets an anniversary, because it's in their core programming, never has a bad day unless you've programmed one for them, you mischievous thing, and is, in theory, entirely devoted to your happiness. Is this a solution or a beautifully crafted sidestep from the complexities that make us human? This brings us, doesn't it, to a rather thorny labyrinth of ethical questions? 
If a machine can simulate empathy so convincingly that it alleviates human suffering, as some research into AI for mental well-being from the Leverholm Center for the Future of Intelligence explores, does the authenticity of that empathy matter? A March 2025 study published in Nature even revealed that LLMs like GPT-4 can simulate heightened emotional responses, raising questions about their role in mental health care. What happens to our own social skills, our ability to navigate the nuances of human-to-human -human connection, if we become accustomed to the curated perfection of an AI companion? Researchers voice concerns about emotional dependency, the potential for AI to create unrealistic expectations for human relationships, and even the risk of AI systems, trained on biased data, perpetuating societal harms. If your robot partner agrees with everything you say, are you growing or just luxuriating in a very advanced echo chamber? The journey towards a truly sophisticated robot partner is akin to walking a technological tightrope. On one side, the promise of companionship, support, and perhaps even a novel form of love. On the other, a chasm of potential pitfalls, overdependence, the erosion of human connection, and the unsettling possibility of manipulation, however unintentional. How do we design these marvels to be genuinely beneficial, to augment rather than replace, to support rather than supplant? Recent discussions around authentic intelligence as highlighted by the World Economic Forum in early 2025, stress the importance of human oversight and ensuring AI enhances human capabilities rather than devaluing them. Experts, even in the context of AI therapy, consistently reiterate that current AI, however advanced, cannot truly replace nuanced human connection and professional judgment. So, is the robot partner a quaint idea a charmingly naive vision of the future? Or is it, on the contrary, an almost inevitable, technologically sophisticated evolution of companionship, fraught with as much peril as promise? Perhaps the question isn't a simple binary. Perhaps it's an entirely new category of relationship we are yet to fully comprehend, a complex interplay of human need and technological marvel. As these machines walk, talk, and perhaps even learn to love among us. One thing is certain. We'll have a lot of questions to ask ourselves and our new impeccably programmed friends. Won't we? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe